Playing unranked public matches isn't always easy. From sweaty squads to people who just straight up have more skill than expected, public matches can be daunting at times. In fact, almost every game of pubs has multiple sweaty squads. It's almost impossible to find a lobby with mainly bots and less than decent players. Getting wins in squads without a squad or even dropping a 20 plus kill games can be one of the hardest things to accomplish. Even after nine seasons, the majority of Fortnite players still haven't been able to get consistently great games like that. But did you know that there are people who are dedicated to doing this? There's multiple people in the Fortnite community that are known for their ability to slay out pub lobbies and dominate when it comes to taking on squads by themselves. These people are known as pub stompers. Pub stompers tend to hop in squad solo and go for 20 plus and sometimes even 30 plus kill games. These not only require mechanical skills, Skill, but also game IQ that goes above and beyond the norm, especially when it comes to split-second decision-making and spotting their opponents. Because besides just eliminating opponents, pub stompers have the problem of finding them. Believe it or not, it's super hard to find 30 people in a solo squad game, so even the best of the best struggle to meet this extraordinary accomplishment. Hey guys, my name is Dan, and in this video, we've gathered the top 5 pub stompers in the world. We'll be looking at what makes them rank higher than the others, so grab some popcorn and get ready for a show, because these guys sure do know how to put one on. At number 5 on our list, we have FaZe Sway. Sway is a very popular Fortnite player known for his mechanical skills on controller. He absolutely dominates players when it comes to 1v1s, but that's not all. Sway has placed multiple times in the Fortnite World Cup and dominates against all types of players, in all types of scenarios. We've seen him drop a 40 bomb in arena duos with FaZe dubs while playing in Division 7, and also dominate in Keemster's Friday Fortnite. Sway was partnered with another well-known streamer, Valkyrie, in this tournament. Friday Fortnite is one of the premier and most known Fortnite tournaments out there. It features some of the biggest content creators and streamers, all partnering up and fighting against other teams to dominate the pub stomping world. The contestants just form duos in a squad match and attempt to outdo each other in total kills. These tend to be very exciting to watch. Last week, we saw FaZe Sway go off in Friday Fortnite, from dropping 20 plus kill games to simply just destroying squads in stressful scenarios. We also often see high kill solo squad games in Sway's YouTube channel. But what makes him get a ranking on our list is his ability to take down squads quickly and efficiently without taking too much damage. He's an expert at maneuvering and confusing enemies to the point where he's just basically running circles around them. We often see him destroy squads in low health as he flies around his opponents, using his crazy fast building mechanics to his advantage. Not to mention his flawless aim considering the high sensitivity. At number 4, we have Mr. Savage M, who dropped a 40 kill game at the start of Season 9. And that was within hours of the new update coming out and the new combat shotgun being introduced. In fact, that's the weapon he used to rack up those 40 kills. Getting 40 kills in a squad game is not a small feat. In fact, it's almost the world record. It's crazy that Savage M was able to do this directly after a game-changing update. This shows us that he has the talent of being able to adapt to Fortnite updates that would make most people play worse. Instead, he embraces it head-on. Savage M is also consistent when it comes to pub stomping. We see him take down squads and drop high kill games very often, and he spends most of his time practicing for Fortnite competitive tournaments, so it goes to show how he's such a well-rounded player overall. Savage M is insanely talented when it comes to player mechanics on keyboard and mouse. He doesn't miss a shot, and at the same time, builds as fast as the Flash himself. Watching him is always entertaining, and watching him play squads makes him look invincible. Another remarkable aspect of Savage M's gameplay is his clutch factor that plays a huge role in his ability to drop such high kill games. He doesn't let low health hold him back, and he certainly doesn't fold under high stress moments. In most of his gameplays, there's a point in which he has low health and it seems like he has no chance of surviving, but we always see him pull it off. Playing pubs isn't always about being the best builder or having the best aim, though. Savage M is insane when it comes to making those quick decisions needed in high kill games. When you're playing solo squads and your goal is to drop a high kill game, you cannot waste time. Every minute you waste is an opportunity for more kills that is no longer there. Just think about it. Most Fortnite games last anywhere between 15 to even 25 minutes, and that makes the average somewhere around 20 minutes, meaning Savage M has to be averaging at least 2 kills per minute to be able to drop a 40 bomb. Therefore, if he slowed his pace down, he would have never gotten this remarkable achievement. But the thing is, being fast and rotating isn't always effective. You must know where to rotate to. By using the bus route, popular landing spots, rotation knowledge, and good instincts, good players like Savage M can estimate where the majority of players will be. By using this knowledge, they can land somewhere hot, slay out, and then rotate to another area that will have more players for them to engage with. At number 3, we have Ghost Gronky. Gronky is very well known for his skills in solo squads. Gronky is THE pub stomper. Ever since early Fortnite, he has been known for his ability to drop high kill games consistently in solo squads. It's crazy to think that someone can stay so consistent for a whole year, getting solo squad games at the kill numbers that Gronky gets. Although sometimes we've seen him slow down and not drop numbers as high as he normally does, he almost always bounces back with a 30 plus kill game. After all, it can be hard to stay consistent in a game like Fortnite, where the meta is always changing and evolving. You know, did all the weekly updates that we love and hate. Now, what makes Gronky so good to be ranked number 3 on our list of best pub stompers? 
Well, he's already one of the best in the world, considering his KD and his record in pub stomping tournaments, but he's also got one of the best brains when it comes to game IQ and dominating in solo squads. He's insanely talented at taking on even the best of squads. His practice and mastery of the art of pub stomping has made him one of the best in the world and continues to keep him at the top. He's been doing this type of play as far back as Season 3 and continues to do so to this day. It's pretty much expected that he should be as amazing as he is at this point. Gronky is also known for his positioning. His ability to always be in the right spot and take down multiple squads as a third party is most likely one of the most dominant skills of his when it comes to pub stomping. He consistently knows where to put himself to avoid being targeting. Instead, he's the one cleaning up all the kills. Some of his best games include him perching up on strong areas and using natural high ground to clean up, up to 8 kills at a time. One thing that really stands out about Gronky, however, is that his playstyle doesn't involve super fast building or editing. In fact, Gronky plays very slow and calculated, unlike most of the players nowadays who use materials like they're unlimited. At number 2 on this list, we have Ghost Innocence. Innocence is probably one of the most interesting pub stompers on this list, and this is due to his very aggressive playstyle. Most pub stompers are escape artists and masters of positioning. Innocence, however, always keeps pushing. No matter how good the opponent or how bad the situation, we still see him go at it with confidence, and he usually comes out of it with another bundle of kills. Innocence playstyle is very fun to watch since it's so fast-paced and relies on his building and aiming mechanics. Did we mention also that he plays on controller? Which is incredible, since he's normally facing keyboard and mouse players since he plays on PC. Innocence is one of those players who just can't hold himself back from W keying even when he's low. He rarely holds himself back from a fight to met up and is usually pushing people throughout the whole game. Innocence has also been pub stomping for months. He's been doing this and mastering it for a long time, making him one with experience and lots of practice, which is usually what allows him to get away with a squad wipe in scenarios where he really shouldn't. And did we mention that he plays on controller? This is incredible since he's normally facing keyboard and mouse players because he plays on PC. As with most people on this list, he's very consistent with high kill games and has dropped many record breakers and astonishing numbers when it comes to pub stomping. At number 1, we have Atlantis Mitro. Mitro is the sole record holder for the world's most kills in solo squads. He holds this record with 42 kills in a squad match. Now, obviously, we didn't just put him as number one due to this. There's actually many aspects of his gameplay that makes him the world's best pub stomper. Skills that have allowed him to get so many kills. Besides just being an absolutely amazing player overall, Mitro drops 30 plus kill games like it's nothing. His channel is full of them and they keep on coming. Even through all the updates and changes to the game, Mitro has stayed consistently on top of the chain and has pumped out numerous high kill games that most dream about. Besides being a great pub stomper, Mitro is also a very good competitive player. He's the duo of Mongrel during competitive matches such as the World Cup and other tournaments, and they're a very strong duo as both are mechanically cracked out of their minds. Mitro is without a doubt the sole ruler of pub stomping as his record holds true to this day as the number one solo squad game to ever be played. It has been many months since this record has been set, and no one has been even close to it besides Mr. Savage M. There are so many aspects to Mitro's gameplay that make him absolutely dominant, but the one that stands out the most is his ability to hit almost every headshot. Mitro is insanely good at aiming and can dominate almost any player if it comes down to a battle of aim. Even in his world record game, we can see him dominate players with his amazing aim, almost missing no shots and dealing extremely high amounts of damage to players. As we reach the end of this video, we wanted to ask you guys, who do you think is the best pub stomper in Fortnite?
And do you think anyone could ever top Mitro's record? We wish you guys the best of luck with your Fortnite grind, and thanks for watching this video.